Alright, welcome to my channel guys. It's your girl TTB's beauty again. If you have been on my channel all this while, thank you so much. My returning subscribers, thank you. Let's go straight to this video. I am going to show us these extra soaps. We have four types of extra soaps in the market. And right now, I am going to be talking about just three of the extra soaps. Because I could not lay my hands on the fourth extra soap. So on this table, I have three extra soap. They are totally different. All right, so guys, here I have three extra soaps. Sorry, there was an interruption, so I had to pause the video. Okay, these three, we have two imported and one locally made, which is the Nigerian made. Now, I will be busting your bubbles by telling you that the imported also has its fake version. That is its own local version. So if you are buying extra soap and they tell you it's imported, if you are not careful enough, you'll be buying a local soap for an imported soap. So this video is meant to show you the exact imported soap, the legit one, so you are not out there being cheated by anyone. Or you don't go there, just throw away your money thinking you are buying the right product. So this product here, this particular one, that has this um, Arabic writing, under its extracts, it's the Nigerian made. You see extracts, whitening, herbal soap, then Arabics. It's the Nigerian made. Then here you have papaya calamansi. The three of them contain papaya calamansi. However, they are not the same. So the one that has um, Arabic writing, or I don't know which country's um, writing is this, the one that has it at the front of the pack is the locally made one. That is the Nigerian version of extract soap. So I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to turn to the back of this pack to show you something else. If you look at this part of this soap here, we don't have anything called splash around this place. We don't have any right of called splash here. What we have here is still... Um, the arabic write-ups and the direction then the ingredients arabic write-up here that's all so here there is no splash so it's it totally indicates that this is a nigerian made extract soap so i'm going to keep this aside sorry for the little um blurry vision you are seeing on my camera okay i'm going to keep this aside so right now i will be talking about the two imported ones now i have these two i want you to see something look at this part this one this particular one after where extra soap is written you can see extra soap um this is talking about distributed by a particular person and the batch number and the expiry date and manufactured uh, manufacturing date then here you have just the expiry date <clears throat> excuse me and the manufacturing date then extracts so this one that has more more writing here is the original one the one that carries the distributor the distributor is the original one and the one that carries the um that does not carry a distributor's um address or name is the fake imported one then i'll, I'll now turn to both of them do not have the both of them do not have um, arabic writing at the top like we have it in the nigerian um, type so the both of them do not have Arab arabic writing in front of the pack now i'm going to turn to the back of the pack where you find the real difference between these soap. so these are the two imported ones and one of these imported ones is fake like it's not legit so you have to open your eyes wide to see what i'm going to explain so you don't fall victim this particular one that carries Arabic under the um, description of the ingredients is the fake one. The original one does not carry Arabic anywhere around its pack. And this one contains Splash. Splash is the, is the company name for the original extract soap. So, this soap is also produced from Philippines. It's produced by the Philippines and 
the other one is also produced by the Philippines. Look at it very well. If you look at this so very well, look at it. Produ production or product of the Philippines, same as this place. Product of the Philippines. So they are both splash products, but one is fake, one is original. So the one that carries um, Arabic writing is the fake one. Look at this place on the original one. You can see the ingredients. It's not translated in Arabic at all. On that extract here, you just have the um, ingredients and you have the barcode, that's all. But for the fake imported one, you have the um, ingredients. Then you have Arabics. Also, you have barcode. So these two products carries the fact that they are both produced from by the, Pilip by the Philippines. But the ideal thing here is that one of them is not produced by the Philippines. It's an imitation of the other. So the one that has Arabic is the one that is an imitation of the original one. The original one is far more expensive than what anybody is telling you out there. Like somebody will tell you extra soap, the original one from the um, from Philippines is like about $1.8. That is not true. The original soap is around $2.1. $2. So guys, I hope with these few points, you are able to know that you will be able to identify the fake from the original extract soap when you see them. This is a Nigerian extract soap. If you put it close to the um, imitation of the imported one, you see that both of them are carrying Arabics around the ingredients. Look at this one. It's also carrying Arabics around the ingredient. But the original one has no Arabics at all. So thank you for joining my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe until I come your way again. If you have any question to ask me, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Until I come your way again. I'll make your girl TTV's beauty. Bye.